Howdy there, I'm Undead, and today we're playing Bad Business. It's been a while since I last decided to go and take a bunch of your guys' setup, especially in Bad Business. I feel like I might have done this somewhat recently in Phantom Forces, but I haven't done this recently in Bad Business. So we're back, and we're doing it in Bad Business. The first setup, unfortunately, they didn't really follow the format that we have uh, in the Discord, but, it, you know, it still works. We have it from Burner, Bad Business M4 setup. I think this one is a little bit more of a meta setup. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. These were the attachments that I was asked to to use it was steady shot no stock rubberized tape angled grip and flash hider i don't know why i read it from the bottom up but there you go all right let's go ahead and check this out and see how it actually plays out for me i just find it funny that the m4a1 just keeps showing up over and over again in my videos i don't even mean for it to happen it just keeps happening <laughs> Honestly, the whole steady shot does make the iron sights a lot better to use. Because at first, I didn't really like using the m one iron sights. But because of steady shot, it feels a lot better to use it. That's a bad guy right there. All right, well, uh, that was interesting. I also recently just got my M4A1 to Rubelite, which is 3,000 kills. And then I finally got Damascus Jade. I finished the M16 up last night for Damascus Gold, and I finally got that. That's also pretty cool. Honestly, the M4A1 setup here does feel really solid. It has a lot of better recoil control and reduction than my old M4A1 setup that had no stock as well on it. So I'm liking this a lot. This is genuinely pretty solid. I can see why they put Flash Hider on it, because Flash Hider slightly decreases like the overall recoil as well for whatever reason. Also, I kind of forgot that we were even playing King of the Hill for a second. Why is there so many bad guys here? Hold on, wait, relax, please. Stop trying to knife. There we go, okay. Dodge and weave? Like a boss? Hello? Are right, you two? All right, hold on. I can clear this entire objective all by myself. I got this. Never mind, there's so many bad guys inside the, the tree itself. Hold on, wait. Relax. Relax, you guys. Relax, please. Am I still alive? What is going on here, dude? Peek? Why, why is this working so well? Please, please chase. No! <laughs> what even just happened? Okay, you know what? Maybe I actually really do like this M4A1 setup. It's pretty it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Burner, yeah, you made a good setup here. I like this a lot. <laughs> Makes me wonder if I like my own M4A1 setup. I ended up having to completely do a server hop because they voted in randomizer. So, uh... Now we're in a new server. <laughs> if you guys would like to see your own setups show up in my video in the future, make sure that you guys join the community Discord server or you guys can leave a comment in the comment section below. I prefer the Discord server because it's a lot easier and I can actually see your suggestions there a lot better. So if you comment, just know that you have a little bit less of a chance of actually having your setup show up. But I'll try to, you know, get comment setups in here every once in a while but yeah you guys can always just join the community discord server i have a very nice text channel for you guys there at first i didn't know how i was gonna feel about this gun well specifically the setup i should say and now that i'm using it it genuinely feels a lot better than i expected oh yeah also make sure that you guys follow the format when you guys give me your setups too if you guys give me the format it makes my life so much easier and this thing can long range pretty decently except for the fact that i just got a 150 assist somehow on the guy so we're getting close to where I want to actually swap weapons here to the next setup, but we're going to be playing a little bit of the beginning of this game with the M4A1, and then we're going to swap to the next one. To be honest, if I compare this to my M4A1 setup, which I haven't used in a while, this is this is so strong that I'm not sure if I want to change up my own a little bit again. I, I have no idea. I personally really like my current M4A1 setup, but now I feel like I have to go back and check to see if it actually can withstand this setup that I'm using now. <laughs> this is why I like doing viewer setups, because if I'm not sure if it's going to be better than mine, and I use it, and it is better than mine then i can take things from that setup and incorporate it into my own setup or i can just take the setup all together and then put like credit where the credit is due you know or you guys just get you know to torture me with awful setups or something like that too because that, that that's a possibility as well all right let's go ahead and head on over to the next setup which is a p90 setup from i can only assume that name is dash and they said that it's basically a long range full auto gun i i'm terrified because of the lightweight scope on it the setup is lightweight scope monolithic silencer marksman barrel jungle mag and lightweight grip this is gonna be something else man and the fact that one of my reloads can be twice as long as the other one that's also terrifying i guess i can just try my best to like just sit back and try to fight from a range i guess i don't know how i'm gonna long range somebody with it I feel like I have to long range somebody with it now, considering I have the lightweight scope on it. But I, yeah, I, I don't know quite yet. This is weird. I don't know how to feel. And the recoil isn't the best on this. I don't know. I can see why other people would actually like this. But I myself, I use the iron sights on the P90, so this is really weird. 
it's working kind of i'm actually kind of you know dropping people all right from long range recoil not the best was doing decent damage though i was like i not dead there we go okay that's a good grenade we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling <laughs> all i have to do is just play right here and the enemy team can't do anything do I actually give a sniper glint? I wonder. The fact that I can literally just sit at the back of the map right here with a lightweight scope P90 and still drop people is disgusting. <laughs> this P90 setup is by no means a bad setup. It's just not how I would regularly play with the P90. But I'm gonna try to play to what the person who made this setup actually said, which was Dash. Dash said that they wanted this to be a full auto long range weapon. And it kind of is. It's kind of exactly that. But I feel like the thing that makes it more long range than anything else has to be the lightweight scope on it. Although you do have the marksman barrel and the monolithic silencer on it. So you do have a lot of range that you increase on this. So it makes sense. By the way, I actually had to go out of my way and spend some of my credits to unlock some attachments. Not anything on the M4A1 or the P90, but the next gun. I had to spend a little bit of my own hard-earned credits because, uh, well, you guys will see. All right, well, we're back over here, I guess. Might as well just start doing this again. Was that- that was actually a good grenade. That grenade was- wow. This is such an interesting gun. I'm surprised I'm doing as good as I am with it. Actually, recently, I've been running into so much XKs, and I'm not even surprised. But, oh my lord. Okay, I can see why people are saying that it needs a nerf now, because that thing genuinely has made me upset. <laughs> I was grinding last night, and it was just like... It was just making me sad, man. This definitely won't change, like, the setup that I currently use on the P90, but... You know, honestly, I can see why some people would like this. If you're a bit more of a passive-aggressive player, and you don't like to always rush your enemies and stuff like that and you don't play really close quarters and stuff this might actually be the setup to go with i don't know i've never really made a long range setup like this in mind I, 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 it's weird it's different but i like it and i can see why other people could use this and like it as well i don't know why but like my brain just thinks that i have to figure out a way that this would be used in the actual game i don't think i've actually ran into any setup yet that's like you why why would you do this 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 gun cannot be used at all if you guys have a setup like that then i want to use that like let me let me see it let me feel it and le let's see how awful we can actually make a setup in bad business what was that i went 33 and 11 <laughs> let's go <laughs> all right so like what we were doing for the p90 when we swapped over to it we're gonna play a little bit of the beginning of this new map this new match with the p90 then swap that guy is hitting nothing but headshots real fast oh dear hold on let me go ahead and spectate this oh yeah right okay the nice hit okay definitely not walling all right six shot yeah all right good riddance sir okay nice nice more please more more enemies please feed them to me come here you <laughs> why is this thing actually so good i know it's just the p90 at the end of the day it's just the p90 just being the you know the gun itself but like it's, it just feels like it should not be working this good this p90 is fun like it's weird and i like it because it's just it's so weird all right let's go ahead and get that next setup real fast here we have ducky the sequels m249 setup and they said it is the slowest handling setup troll oh no you see the thing is i got the attachments for this but i didn't test the setup yet though so this is this is gonna be awful i'm gonna be using damascus jade on it i guess but we have the oil can silencer marksman barrel vertical grip granulated tape and chainsaw stock and it has 34 handling what is this what is this and why dude i i don't i, I can't even i can't even ads i have to just it kind of hit fire with it <laughs> oh my lord wait look at that look at that if i want to ads as i pull out the gun so bad oh that handling is so awful what is that i'm better off just straight up hip firing than any of this man okay you know if i just stay ads for a while it kind of just works <laughs> how is that working though i don't understand also people were calling me annoying and trash at the game because i was using a scope on a p90 apparently I don't know how that determines your actual skill level, considering the fact that I absolutely dumpstered on them and got top of the leaderboard, but alright. <laughs> oh, dude, the handling. Oh, it just feels like it doesn't ADS properly. This setup should be illegal. 
I don't like this at all. I can't even I can't even hit the guy from here, dude. How accurate is this gun even, man? Why is it taking why? This is so bad. I mean, I don't like this. I don't want to. This is so bad. It takes like a full second to ADS. That is so bad. Like, that is unbelievably bad. Does the chainsaw stock just mean that I'm permanently in hipfire mode? And then ADSing just tightens it or something? Like, the spread? Ducky the sequel, I gotta say, man, you definitely have come up with one of the worst setups I was ever able to play with. It feels like you shouldn't play with this, but it also kind of works, considering that I just got a kill feed. I'm getting, I'm getting a multi-kill right now. How? What even is this, dude? Why does this work? It's like the same thing with the P90. How did that work and how does this work? I just had to like channel my inner passive aggressive playstyle. And now here I am somehow dropping people with a gun that just shouldn't. Like, bro, what is this? What is that? The ADS is so bad. 39 and 6. How though? How? I feel like even though that this is the worst ADS speed, the worst handling that you could get on this M249, it feels like, or just in general, I don't know. I feel like you can get used to it. Look at how slow I have to walk while I'm ADSing too. This is genuinely the fastest I can go while ADSing. If you even want to call it ADSing, to be honest. Oh, I'm just glad that the game's over because that gun, that setup was so painful. I gotta say, m 4 one setup was pretty solid. And the P90 setup was also pretty decent, you know? Not particularly what I would go for for a P90, but pretty solid. And this M249 was, ooh, it was just pain and suffering but pretty fun as well.